Here I am everybody, in my storage unit, and today's the day that I'm gonna finally get it cleaned up, sweep the floor, I got my rug in the mail, I got some acoustic foam in the mail, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get my drum set finally set up here in my storage unit. I've been dreaming and thinking about this day for so long now, and I'm really excited that it's finally here. So, hopefully, this is gonna be awesome. Let's see. Yeah! Welcome to my house! This place is gonna look really good when everything is all said and done. I already see it in my mind. I mean, I'm, I'm looking in the future right now, you know. Time's just an illusion. I'm already seeing what's happened and it looks really good. I'm excited for you to see it and for me to see it in real life. Let's sweep this thing out. Time to do a lot of moving. And now, a little sweep action. This sweep is a crucial part of the process. Check it. Bam! And look how clean it is. Ah! Oh, beautiful. And now, present time. Presents that I purchased for myself. I treat myself too well. Gifts. So let's just start ripping into these. Let's see what we got here. Look at that. I don't even need scissors or anything. Brute strength, just tear right into it. Like an animal. I am an animal, I guess. The first piece of the puzzle. I have a non-slip area rug pad. Hmm. I'm gonna guess acoustic foam. That's my guess. Let's see how good my psychic abilities are. What do you know? We got acoustic foam, baby. I've never purchased acoustic foam before, so I'm really curious to see how it works for me. And the last box. We got more acoustic foam. That is a lot of acoustic foam I got. I might've gone a little overboard. I think I got like 36 of these total, 36 of these tiles. I spent like $54. Spent it once, these are gonna outlive me. This is an investment for my future. That's how I view it, at least. Some of these are just like normal tiles, like square 12 by 12 acoustic foam tiles. And I also bought some that go in the corners of the room. So these are uh, bass traps. So I don't know a lot about frequencies and how sound travels necessarily. I am a total novice, but I was doing some research and people were saying that with the bass traps, it's good to put them in the corners of the room because I guess like a lot of uh, low frequencies will try to just like, I don't know, hang out in the corners or whatever, but this just kind of helps dissipate those and absorb them and diff diffuse the sound and, you know, does all sorts of things. Sweet. And last but not least, got the rug. Mmm, smells like chemicals. I bet I could get really high if I just smelled this rug for 10 minutes. Just got my nose all up in here. That'd be a high I've never experienced before. Damn, I need like a knife or something. Come on, give me what I want. Hmm. Gimme. All right, progress. Yes, give it to me. There's so much tape on here, oh my God. I'm getting close. Getting very close. Ah, oh, my hands are getting so gross just like touching this thing. Ugh. Oh man. Don't try this at home, folks. If you're gonna try this at home, do it with scissors or a knife. Don't just do it with your bare hands like I'm doing it. Damn. Gimme. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm starting to question my life. I'm starting to question everything now. Does the universe not want me to have this rug open? Or is it just trying to teach me a lesson? Like, hey, dummy, you're not doing that very good. Do it a better way. Why do I have to be so stubborn? <laughs> keys time. Give it to me, keys. Help me. I'm making some progress here. Oh yeah. So what is the lesson I just learned here? I think the lesson is to not be so stubborn and use his big beautiful brain when I need to. Use the keys. Duh. Yeah. All right. 
So I got the Rose Home Fashion non-slip area rug pad. It is the finest they had on the market. Only the finest for the zine. Did I say finest? I meant cheapest. It was, it was the cheapest. It was cheap. And now, the final reveal. Ah, oh, man, there's more. Yo, these people were thorough, which I do appreciate. Give me, ooh, oh shit. <laughs> All right, so the final reveal. Ooh, yeah. Let's see what this looks like on the ground. Uh, I put a couple drums down, just in the corners. It'll eventually lay perfectly flat though. It'll just take a little bit of time. Check this thing out. It's beautiful. Once I get my mixer up and running, I can record all of my songs or all of my performances straight into Logic Pro. I have a run through the mixer, so everything's gonna sound super awesome and, you know, tweaked the way it needs to be tweaked on the mixer, and then I'll record that in my audio interface in Logic Pro. I'm gonna get extra crafty with it. I'm gonna try to uh, snake it through. There's some like mesh wiring of sorts in the top of my unit. So it's, it's basically open air um, to allow like ventilation. So I'm gonna try to run the cable through the mesh wiring in the top and then have it run over to the outlet where I'm gonna plug it. So I'm gonna put stuff over here in the corner and it's running along the wall, and it's gonna go up here. And I'm gonna have it just go right off the top and plug it into that outlet right there, all this stuff. And now I'm gonna start piecing the drum set together, which is a momentous occasion. I have so much gratitude. I'm super pumped. to reveal one of my favorite pieces in this entire set, the Iron Cobra double kick pedal. Ooh, yeah, baby, yeah! I got this as a present for my brother, Philip, uh, for my graduation from high school. What a good dude. I've had this thing for 10 years now. This is unbelievable double kick pedal. It's super responsive, high, you know, super high quality, and there's not enough things, like, good things I can say about this. I, I could talk about this thing all day. It delivers so much power too, like, it'll destroy a bass drum head. Check this out, so this is the, the one I'm gonna have. So this will be on my main kick pedal, so it operates this beater on the right, and this one on the left is operated by this pedal, um, and there's a little piece that connects, there's like a bar that connects these two. So they're, they work together. Very good. And here's that bar that connects the two pedals. So it's always kind of tricky getting things situated just right because with this double kick pedal, that bar connects the two pedals. Everything's just very tight here, very tight. So I kind of have to finesse things to get things to sit just right where I like them. Take this for a mini jewel ride. What do you say? Remember your ear protection, children. Crucial. I'm not gonna bore you with the rest of the details. I'm just gonna get things set up, rocking and rolling. 
It is a thing of beauty, this drum set. I got it set up. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Ooh-wee. <laughs> work it, drum set, work it. Got some sensual things happening down there on the floor. But let's investigate. Oh, oh, Iron Cobra. <laughs> ah, I see. And here is my space. So there's still quite a bit of work to do, but I think the biggest thing has happened. The drum set is set up. It's looking so good. Damn, has this drum set ever considered modeling? Because, woo, I'm getting worked up just looking at it. Well, there's a few other things that need to happen. I need to put foam on the walls. I need to uh, install a few moving blankets that I purchased to kind of absorb some sound. Uh, but then after that, you know, get things mic'd up, get some mics on the set, get it all plugged into the mixer, and then I'm ready to rock and roll. Until next time.